Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. It is back to school time, as we can tell by, oh my gosh, all of the school clothes that are out, the pumpkins on my table, and waking up to rain this morning. It's also back to school time for the Children's Museum. And uh, they always, first and foremost, have children at the heart of what they do. So they are here today to talk about exactly what you can put on your calendar, parents. So please join me in welcoming Maddie Mixer. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It's good to have you back in the house. <laughs> you are the communications manager for Children's Museum of mm -hmm. Tacoma. That means you must speak child ease. I do. <laughs> I do. A lot of that. Yeah. I bet. I bet you. I bet you. Some child can babble, and you can oh, actually interpret it. I've gotten pretty good at it. Yeah, when I used to teach kindergarten, I was really good, but I think mm -hmm. I'm rusty in my skills now. Yeah, you got to keep them honed you all do. the time. Mm -hmm. Part of being bilingual. <laughs> um, and speaking of being bilingual, Miss Alyssa Tung, you are the Learning Experience Director of the Children's Museum of Tacoma. Welcome back, my dear. Wonderful. Thank you for having. Good me. to see both of you yeah. back. If you're not here, I wonder where you are. <laughs> so let's talk about um, Maddie. The Children's Museum Tacoma is returning, we say, for the fall, but you've right. never really left. No. <laughs> because you are just as busy, if not more so, in the summertime to make mm -hmm. up for that. I've got one child in school. I have one child not quite yet in school. Mm -hmm. But when fall kicks in, it's you guys really do a beautiful job of yeah. waking our families back up. So tell us about what you have on tap. Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot of programs that return in the fall, including our Play to Learn neighborhood play program, um, We Ones Weekly that's at the museum, mm -hmm. and also just a whole lot of other small programs here and there, um, including power plays at the museum. Um, steam activities, art activities, a lot of things going on. Um, we also have fun fundraising events, you know, our gingerbread jamboree in yes. November, which is um, sweet fun. Absolutely. I'm already waiting for my taste of frosting with the gingerbread house I, in the corner over there. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, it's so we have a lot going on. Um, like you said, we didn't ever go away for the nope. summer. We had a lot of summer camps that just kind of winded down, but we're still building up for the fall. So we have a lot going on. I love we're it. We're really excited about Doing your part to keep those kids awake as they go back to any kind of classroom situation that they may have uh, year round. So we have a video we want to show about the play to learn and then we'll come back and talk about it. So go ahead and roll that beautiful video footage there. That, if that doesn't put you in a good mood, I don't know what would. First off, let's give a shout out to who actually did that video, Elisa. Lisa Blackmore of Lisa oh, Monet Photography. Beautiful video. So, so beautiful. what do we need to know about the Play to Learn program that we didn't get from that video? Sure. So, Play to Learn really is a program that lives and breathes the museum's mission to honor children and champion play 
outside of our brick and mortar building, we really recognize that there's a lot of unique circumstances that we as families of young children navigate in our day-to-day -day life. And coming downtown to the Children's Museum, while seemingly a great idea, might not be a reality for your day. So Play to Learn comes to you. We're at over 20 locations and neighborhood settings, an incredible partnership with community centers, our public library systems, the Tacoma Housing Authority, school districts, it's incredible. So meeting families where they're at for a free 90 minute drop-in program that's close to you. So really removing as many barriers as possible mm -hmm. to have a playful learning moment with your child. The program is for children birth to six years old and their primary caregiver, whether it's a parent, a family, a friend, or a neighbor who's caring for the child. So it's supporting both the child's learning growth and development, but also the, uh, the caregiver's yes. learning growth and development. Mm -hmm. And for the Children's Museum, that happens through play learning, relationship building, fun, the pizzazz for life. It happens through playful endeavors. It does, mm -hmm. it does. just like that tutu. I want one yes. Tutu. I know. <laughs> you, know, you want one too many. Oh, absolutely. I know, we need you adult know, sizes. I remember when this program first came out, it was the first in the nation. You could have, you being the Children's Museum, stopped there and said, this is enough for us. But instead, you watch this program grow over a certain amount of time, and then you brought it out into the community. And that is what makes the huge difference here. Because when you said the word caregiver, I thought about um, children have many caregivers in this world. Um, and the old phrase, it takes a village. The person that you had this last year for some Unknown circumstance may not be the person you have besides your your moms or your dads or your mom and dad, um, but the museum stays stagnant. It's always there, and you provide such a, a sense of stability and safety and play for that. Um, how much does the program cost? I think you said it was free. It's free. How do they register? There's no registration required. Oh. So again, mm -hmm. the Play to Learn program is really aiming to remove as many barriers for pos as possible so that families can have this moment of connection. And again, we, we use the word family very globally because mm -hmm. we recognize that a child's primary caregiver may be mom or dad, but it could be an auntie, an uncle, yeah. a grandparent, a neighbor. Regardless, they are their child's first and most important teacher. And yeah. so Play to Learn and our incredible team of facilitators come alongside and offer um, times of free exploration with a weekly theme, which could be fresh fall leaves as we head into the fall. <laughs> Pumpkins! We yeah. offer a dental health curriculum. Wow. And we also endeavor in the messy scientific discoveries of color science. And bubbles, oh. as we saw. Yeah, bubbles. and having those experiences that sometimes can be a little messy outside of your home Thank environment you. is really fabulous yes. too, it to is. have those creative mm -hmm. ventures. And that families get to enjoy a circle time. And it is a program, again, honoring children birth to six, helping to build up some of the stamina and routines that will help them in their, into their transition into wow. school and life and lifelong learning. You guys have thought of everything, but there's more. Yes. Mm -hmm. We Ones. Let's talk about We Ones Weekly program in this last few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We Ones Weekly, or as we lovingly refer to it as WOW, um, oh, love it. <laughs> is a great program also um, for those younger early learning opportunities. It's a 90-minute program as well, held at the museum. Um, it starts at 9.30 a.m. It goes until 11 and on Mondays it's for members as well as Fridays for everyone. Um, it includes 30 minutes of exclusive exploration in our museum. So before, you know, maybe the crowds come in, it's a great opportunity to go play. And then we go into the program room for some a class, a circle time, some of that same learning opportunities. Um, Happens every week um, with a few closures around the holidays towards the end of the fall, but um, it starts this week of the 17th of September. Wow, we're right really, in there. Yep, right there. And so we're really excited. Um, it's a great opportunity for. I love it. Is there a registration process for that? Nope, it is a drop in free easy. program. Mm -hmm. You are. Okay, so real quick fall hours for the museum. Yes. So our fall hours do change a little bit. We are closed for a little bit to shine and realign the museum, yes. but we um, we will be reopening after Labor Day on the 
or excuse me, the 16th of September. Um, we'll be going back to our fall hours open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday and for everyone. A wonderful website that has mm -hmm. all that on there too. Absolutely. Who do we need to thank? About 10 seconds here. Sure. I think we just want to thank our community at yes. large, our volunteers, our funders, our staff, our board of directors, and the community and families. We this. are Tacoma and Pierce County's Children's Museum, and we couldn't do it without everyone's support. You are. I When I first moved here, you were the closet. It was this tiny <laughs> little closet, and now you are the museum that could. Oh, so goodness. I have so much pride and so much gratitude for all that you have done there. Thank you, Thank you. for shaping this next generation, because without play, we're in big trouble. So uh, thank you for being such wise stewards of that great gift, and maybe I'll hop on down and blow some bubbles if you can find, <laughs> if you can find me that. a tutu. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Deal. All right. Absolutely. All right. When we come back in the seats, we will have Stadium Art Wine and Beer Walk. Uh, that is coming right up. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back. Thank you. 